Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage 1965 Zippo windproof lighter, full size, brush chrome, recently returned from the Zippo repair clinic. This lighter has extensive wear, scratches, dings, dents, plating loss, corrosion, some pitting on the bottom. You can see the imperfections but the repaired hinge looks very nice it's got two very symmetrical dimples that look very much like a brand new lighter coming out of the factory looks these days anyway you can see the repair stickers there on the back the barcode identification sticker and the orange warning label which we have talked so much about we are going to go ahead and peel this sticker off and I am always very deliberate when I do this take your time peel it up a little bit at a time the further you extend that adhesive the more likely you are to leave some behind so keep a short distance between your fingers and where you are pulling the adhesive from the lighter and you are less likely to disengage the adhesive off of the sticker and leave it behind on the lighter we got it off of here you could still see a little bit of a shadow and it may be slightly tacky but it did not leave a bunch of adhesive or film behind you can see under the sticker there is the under the barcode sticker, the main area of corrosion. I'm going to take these stickers and place them on the inside of this bag so that I can include them along with whatever I do with the lighter. As I mentioned in the unboxing video, I really have no idea what I'm going to do with this one yet. It was useless to me. I put it through the vinegar bath before I sent it into Zippo to get it as clean as possible. And they returned it with the brand new insert there, which the hinge seems a little stiff along with the way that it's working with that cam. Not nothing wrong with that at all my hands are a little weak so the weakness in opening was probably due to my hand strength not the lighter but you can see how tight the hinge appears doesn't appear to be a whole lot of movement from side to side and the insert is also very tight in the case notice when I put it back in in a moment too it is a bit of a struggle the insert is marked C, so March of 21, so it was made roughly a year ago. Take a look here underneath the felt pad and it all looks clean. I don't see the bottom of a wick though, so that's something we will check out. It's a common complaint I've heard amongst many Zippo enthusiasts is they do not pack the inserts as well as they used to. That flint spring screw was still, or not still, it just is tight. It was too tight for me to open that screw up with just my thumbnail. You can see the impression from where the old flint screw corroded and left a mark down there in the bottom of the case. As I said, I put it in the concentrated vinegar bath and then washed it off with soap and water got it all clean before I sent it in 
you can see the tack marks where they have reattached the hinge you can see the wear the lid does rest nicely I believe that's about how they're supposed to rest not supposed to fall all the way down it shouldn't be real stiff and be hanging up real high either I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment and pull this sticker off now and get that stuck to the other side of the Ziploc bag that we will use then to put any of the expendables that are discarded from this particular lighter. There you can see that point where the plating has been lost where the lighter corroded underneath. I will have to check and see if I have the original insert available to me again yet but I will have it repacked and whatever I do with this lighter whether it be to sell it or give it away assuming I can locate that then it will come with the original insert as well doing this lighter first was sort of like saving your favorite treat for last you can see the lost proof lighter in the background there when I moved this lighter out of the way and that's the one I'm really excited about doing but I thought I would go ahead and start with the most basic first and I'm really impressed with the repair that they did on the hinge the fact that this hinge was not even connected the pin was missing and looked very loose they have obviously it appears to me put a brand new hinge on it that is not the hinge that was on it when I had it before so an improvement on that I believe maybe we can get those two videos together get them side by side and corroborate that for a certainty this is a nice functional lighter that I'm not going to be fueling up in this video but will someday soon maybe today it's something to consider a lot of people won't think anything about throwing down a few dollars on a plastic cheap big that it's just going to end up in the landfill somewhere but you can for just a few more dollars pick up one of these Zippo lighters that like this one the hinge wasn't even connected or the lid wasn't even connected the hinge pin was missing yet I send it back and just for the few dollars that it costs for the postage it's like having a brand new lighter until next time